Lies here. So, your mom and cat has disappeared. My ma- what? <laughs> I hope okay. someone drinks that liquor mints. Alright, are we going to start recording? We're going to start. We're going to start. Okay. We're gonna start. You are now tuned into the Crew Roundtable podcast with light talk and in-depth discussion on local and global events. For more information, please visit our website at www.crewroundtable.com or hit us up on Twitter at Crew Roundtable. Hashtag Ask the Crew if you have any topics or questions for the show. And now, get ready... The Crew Roundtable Podcast is now beginning. Welcome, okay. listeners, to the Crew Roundtable Podcast. I'm your host, Sal Champ, and uh, beginning on my left, I'm going to introduce everyone around the table. Big V, how you doing tonight? Uh, excellent. I'd like to uh, say that... Uh, I'm doing very well, especially with the uh, Lake Wilcox uh, flowing through me right now. I'm uh, I'm very happy. It is good. You brought four four different flavors of uh, Wilcox brew here, and uh, I gotta say, it is delicious. Mm. I will pass that on to the uh, to the brewers of uh, of Wilcox Brewery. Mm. They'd be very happy to hear that. Great! Can't wait to hear their feedback. Oh, also, they are unofficially not our sponsor, (laughs) just so everybody knows that. But we love their beer. Uh, they, yes, we they, do. They, they only sponsor, but we have to pay them for representation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta thank them. Okay, and moving on, we've got Mark. Wiggity. <laughs> Not giggity. Wiggity. Not giggity. But wiggity. wiggity. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Breeze. Greetings and salutations, champ. It's always a pleasure to be here. Happy to do our next po- uh, episode. Yes, pleasure to have you here. It's always fun. And finally, we've got JR. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome, JR. Hello, hello, Strap. In his uh, foam, foamness of solitude. Yeah, exactly, the foamness of solitude. <laughs> Check out the Twitter feed for uh, for JR's uh, isolation booth. Brought to you by Pizza Nova, but probably not. And dirty, exactly. and dirty mattress sponge. Wasn't that for the handle? The handle for the Twitter? The handle for the Twitter is the at Crew Roundtable. Nice. Follow us on Twitter. Wasn't that, the, if, if wasn't that from the couch that was on the street? It's hashtag Ask the Crew. What's that? Wasn't the, that from the couch that was on the street? <laughs> no, this is not. This is not from the streets. I better not find any crabs in my basement no. after this. No, I wash. I wash the phone. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, for em- anyone that's uh, run into this episode, I just want to remind you that you can download this from iTunes. You can find our show and subscribe on Stitcher Radio. And I need Android users' help here. In your f- in your favorite podcast catcher... Podcast where- addict, yes. Yes. Where can you, can you search the cat- a catalog for our show? You search iTunes. Oh, podcast- and then you add the feed. No, you don't add nothing feed. Podcast Addict yes. just uses the iTunes search engine. Oh. So you can search in iTunes, or if you know the feed, you can put it in. So we're in iTunes. It's very easy. Just go in, type in Crew Roundtable, and you'll find us in Podcast That's Addict. That's what I did. Perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll let most, most podcatchers mirror the uh, iTunes database. Okay, perfect. That's all I wanted to know. And if anyone was curious about the website where you can also find our feed, it's crewroundtable.blogspot.com. Anyways, let's move on. This this week's episode is on Windows 10, specifically the forced upgrade, which I'm sure everyone out there, listeners uh, and and our, our speakers here around the table have stories about. I know I have my own. Uh, who wants to kick off uh, like, the forced Windows 10 upgrade discussion? I would discussion? love to kick off that, my friend. <laughs> Big V entertainers. Go I lo- ahead. I'd love to kick off how uh, how uh, Windows uh, 10 kicked me in the uh, nuts, <laughs> or the annoyeds, or however you want to pronounce them. Um, okay, simply put, and I'll keep it short and simple. I can't wait to argue with you about this. Um, oh. I'm on my laptop, on the couch. I put it down. I go prepare dinner. Come back about 30 minutes, 40 minutes later. 
Now, mind you, when I put the laptop down, I put the lid uh, closed so that it wouldn't drain the battery. So nobody touched the keyboard. Nobody did anything. So when you close the lid, does your laptop go to sleep or does it stay on? The screen simply shuts off, but it's still on. It's okay. It's still on. So, and like I said, because uh, the I, I, I folded it closed, nobody could touch any of the keys on the keypad. Okay, so there's no accidental, oh, I hit the space bar and I accepted yes or anything like that, right? I come back, pick up the laptop, flip it open, screen comes on, and what do I find? Windows 10 is 30% downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> and I started having a major flip. And you guys all know that because I went straight to what happened and said, Holy crap, what do I do? <laughs> uh, so straight out, um, it, it, uh, and uh, I don't know how many times I've closed the window, uh, not accepted the upgrade in the past, and to simply come back and find this thing 30% downloaded and me unable to do anything about it royally cheesed me off um, because I was satisfied with Windows 7. I was good with it. I've been working with it for years. All right. Now that I have 10, it's okay. Still haven't figured all it out completely. Um, and to be honest, I don't even, was it even necessary? Because really all it was was just user interface. Uh, user interface was more, I guess, Android uh, friendly, uh, a mix between Windows 7 and Android uh, graphically. Uh -huh. Um and it's like, well, what was the point? Like, really? Well, look, the technologies behind there is so advanced that they actually had to skip version 9 and just call it ver uh, Windows 10. Like, come on, right? Are, are you kidding? Or, uh, <laughs> no, it was because 8 was so crap <laughs> that they, did, they wanted to distinguish it completely different from it and just called it 10. Well, uh, to be fair, 8 wasn't exactly crap. They just lost their way and didn't know what to do with 8. So was there another Vista? No, Vista was the ultimate in garbage. But 8, they were trying to serve too many masters. Oh, I they see. They were trying to be touch interface yeah. and mouse driven at the same time. And they just lost their mind because people rebelled. Yeah, fair enough. I never used 8 at, one, at all. I was, that's why I was completely satisfied with 7. I, I, uh, then to I be... have an excellent story in regards I got, to that. Uh, I got, when I got Windows 8, I wasn't happy. Like, there was a, a little bit of a, a learning curve. Like, it wasn't easy to, well, that's to navigate it was totally around like there. Android exactly, based. because it was, because it was you know? both, yeah. both interfaces together. Yeah, um, so I didn't like it either at first. And, you know, I mean, for, for myself, I can get on there and start using something and learn it. But <laughs> it was a bit of a mess between the mouse um, and, and trying to control those windows. Oh, yeah. And it's it, people even asked me, like, oh, is Windows 8 better than 7? And I said, it, they're not even remotely the same. It's like you, you're literally having to learn something totally new. Yeah, you, you do. Uh, I agree. From 7, and I, that's why I said, I'm like, look, if I want my laptop to or main computer to be a tablet, <laughs> then I would just go out and buy a tablet. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want my laptop or my desktop to be exactly what they are, right? And to yeah, use them that, exactly but that's like that. you have a history of it looking a certain way, right? No, like when you're sitting there with a keyboard and a mouse, you want a certain interface where, like what, what Windows 8 was, it was literally for phone and tablet, like basically portable, quicker accessing, but... Wait, you're talking about 8 or are you talking about 10? 8. Why? Well, both of them. No, he's they're, asking, they're, they're, he's, they're I was set similar. on a certain way. No, no, I want to hear what your issue is with 10. Well, no, 10 was simply put, why did you force it on me with when I'm okay with 7 and I've turned you down, I don't know, like 50 times when every time I turn on my laptop and it asks me and I say no. I actually, it's yeah, like, I, I kind of agree with you there. I don't know, I would love to know what the motivation between behind this push was. Like, mm -hmm. was it... We want to get rid of 7 and 8, or we want to bump the numbers for 10, or was it a, a bit of both? Like, what was the end game? Was it worth pissing off everybody no, because, out there? No, because, like, I've, Cause, I've, I've, I've been forced to use 10 now, and I find, like, literally, <coughs> it's maybe, like, 20% different from 7. Like, literally. That would be, like, the maximum amount of difference mm -hmm. between 8 and 7. Not, like, 
8.1 or 8 or whatever was like 100% different uh, than 7 because of how it was laid out. Mm. But Windows 10 was literally, it's, there was really no need. Like, it was no, not much any different than 7. Just when you go into setup or some other windows or like control panel or whatever, I had to kind of relearn because it was set up they, differently. They changed the names too. It's not like, it's called settings now. Control yeah, yeah. panel yeah, exactly. settings, right? Exactly. So you have to know where to go to make your changes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it. Uh, if I can tell you a story at work, uh, same thing. Um, my boss <laughs> goes to take a leak to the washroom, <laughs> oh, comes nice. back, and Windows 10 is loading. And he calls me over. He's like, um, my computer's loading Windows 10. And I just I, I just shrugged my shoulders. I said, well, you're going to have to wait now. So, so your boss went to take a piss, and then Microsoft pissed all over. So yeah. Yeah. Piss, yeah, pissed him Pretty off, much. literally. Oh, my God. Uh, I, was, I was at my girlfriend's for the night, and this is in July, so... My sister-in-law was was expecting. She was she was due to have her second child, so I, I was basically answering that phone at all hours of the night because you know you never know when the when the text is going to come through. Yeah, and so I put I hear a text. And we're like, oh my god, it's the baby! I, put, I answer the phone, and it's like my mother going, oh my god, I don't know what I did, I don't know what I did, I don't know what I did. I'm like, just just walk away from the computer, ma. I will deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> it freaked her out. Um, it didn't it, it installed cleanly, but it did have some problems. Uh, I noticed that her Fitbit stopped working very. Well. It didn't work very well afterwards, and because I was running the Windows Seven install uh, and Windows a uh, uh, Fitbit. Oh yeah. But then when I tried to install the Windows Store version, that wouldn't even install at all. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm still not understanding. What's everyone's issue? Oh, one of the other things was even when ten was uh was downloaded, there has been issues with drivers. That's I was just gonna ask and, you drivers. Uh, I was I, I had to actually turn off and turn on my laptop. I don't know seven eight times before my <laughs> mouse driver actually reloaded the pad on the. Okay, so on the, are on you the th- angry with Windows ten and how it functions today? Today I'm I'm accepting well. I, I'm accepting because I really don't have any choice anymore. Yes, you do. Be- you could always go back. No, to I've else. actually talked to a couple other people, computer people f- from the computer store that I normally buy my stuff from and others. They said reverting back could actually even be more painful with no, regards. No, why would you really back? a just roll back? Wipe your, just wipe your machine and put whatever operating system you want on it. Oh, what do I got to uh, That You know how many hours that is? For no, something to, to that install, I didn't agree to? Well, actually, to install Windows 7 doesn't take that long anymore, like Windows 98. Exactly. Um, Windows 7 is pretty, was pretty, really hands-off. Actually, my, Yeah, and it was you, quick. Uh, you could do it my just problem, over 20 minutes, My problem is, though, the where they put the, uh, the, the key for the Windows yeah. underneath the laptop, yeah. unfortunately, portions of it rubbed away. Oh. Well, because yeah, that's yeah, where, yeah, my yeah. Thing, my, where I picked yeah, it up, yeah. right? They didn't put it behind the battery. And so now I'm looking at it, it's like I'm, I can't distinguish like four or five characters. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm stuck with 10 because I can't. So if I, could, if I could summarize then, what you're saying is you were happy with something and then someone gave you something new and free and you don't like it. <laughs> I'm not enjoying it as much as I did what I had before, which is just a fault because I didn't ask for it to begin with. Exactly. He's and, right. and, He's right. and 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 right. and yeah. by principle, by principle, regardless what they gave me, even if it's a hundred times better, if I denied it a hundred times before getting it, it was my right to do so, and it was not their right to impose it upon me when I paid for a product for what it came with to begin with. But you don't own that copy of Windows. I do when I bought the laptop. Hold on a second. No, you don't. Okay. Why not? You have a license to use that copy of Windows on that machine. Yes, but I also have. But you I, don't oh, no, own I it. also have the right to deny, which they gave me. Yes, they and gave I'm sure everybody. He probably denied a hundred times. Right? And However, so he, why 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 did they force it upon me? However, he he may not own the software. Yes. He owns the laptop, and they do not have permission to access that laptop without without authorization. I find it hard to believe that. I don't know how they didn't get in trouble for that. Like, why? Where is the FCC like, on this? Because no, no, not enough people bitched. FCC basically. for number well, number one, FCC is in another country. 
But yeah, but they're in the same country as Microsoft. I mean, okay, we're not yeah, going to get justice. You're in Canada. FCC. You're not going to get justice. Yeah, FCC. but there's a lot of people that will. Okay, but once again, you don't own that software. No, but I own the, I own the hardware. They have no access. They have no right to access the hardware without mm-hmm. permission. Mm-hmm. Okay, but they access the Maybe hardware all the time. If you're renting a television. Yes, you don't own that television. Right. But that does not give the rental company permission to break your door down and take it back. If they need to, if they need to reclaim that rented hardware, they have to come with a sheriff uh, a, a, or a warrant to well, take it back. We're not talking they, about renting. It's you're the same leasing, difference. You're licensing is the hardware. same. It's the same difference. No, it's not the same difference it, at you, all. You don't own it, but you. St- I still own the computer. That does not give them access to to rewrite the the hardware the the, the hard hard drive at any time they Nobody's want. Nobody sitting at this table, with the exception of Champ, our illustrious leader, <laughs> I would classify as a power user of any technology whatsoever. I would I would take that I would take okay. offense to no, that. No, no, no. Okay, and I know. <laughs> and Jr., that, that is your right to do so. Okay, I know Just like it is your right to choose oh. which windows to use. Continue, now, Gino. You yes. know, okay. I granted, I'll concede. You know a lot more about this stuff than the average Joe. Okay. Mm-hmm. But none and of Joe. us and say Joe. Whatever. Come on. Uh, fine. But none of us sitting around this table are getting into the nuts and bolts and dealing with what goes on at the back end of Windows 10. We're not security experts. We're not dealing with uh, uh, highly sensitive data. We don't have contracts from government organizations to keep people's uh, uh, information secret. So whatever reason they had for upgrading to Windows 10, you know what, for all the horror stories that you guys are telling me about this, I'll tell you a story that went like a dream. My father does not know anything about computers. Okay? Okay. He has one. He uses it every now and then. He gets some joy from playing like online slot machines and things like that. But he will sit and he'll play and use his computer. Mm-hmm. He called me up one day and he said, yeah, the computer's doing something. I said, okay, what? <laughs> what's, 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 it, what's it doing? I don't know. It's like turning off and on and doing some stuff. I was like, is it updating? He was like, yeah, it said something about that. I said, okay, just leave it. Forget about it for tonight and just... Tell me if it doesn't work tomorrow. <laughs> At that time, he was thinking with some other updating. At that time, I thought there was some other shenanigans happening mm. in the in his computer. But then, next morning, he called me. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> so he had absolutely zero issues. He's using his computer. Everything is fine. Yeah, he was like, oh, the off button's in a different spot. That's all he cared about. But you know what? I have my own personal laptop. It's an older laptop. It actually runs better with Windows 10. Hmm. So they did something to improve the software. You didn't lose any functionality from your machine. Now, there's going to be driver hiccups and things like that. Who knows what's on your machine? Who knows where it comes from? They can't support every single piece of hardware that's out there. But they did a hell of a good job from back in the Windows 95 days to supporting drivers, where now you can just plug in almost anything and Windows will recognize it and go. This so I don't see what the big deal is about this. Oh, this is 10 a big serious complaint on Windows 10. If... if if I had clicked yes, yeah, and it had installed, then then we wouldn't have it. This wouldn't be a complaint. This is not you about. We, we have a problem with them that, being that, Big Windows Brother. Is this is the problem. This is Big Brother, nineteen eighty four. This, this they the, basically placed upon us. That's a that's a topic for another episode. Okay, I'm confused because because I said <laughs> I Big to Brother to, to but, that to that window that kept popping up. Yeah, on my Windows yeah. eight. Yes. To yes. Try and get me to actually for, w- to for Windows you 8. Done yes, done for Windows 8, eight you should have accepted it. For, your own own for you, you should have accepted it. You should have said I, I, honestly, I, thank you. I, man- thank you. I managed. <laughs> I managed to figure out how things work with Windows 8. I'm gonna stick with it. Whatever. Yeah. For what, it, what, for what I need it for, it's good enough. That's loser talk. <laughs> what, what do I? That's care? loser talk. Winners go home, and you know what they so, do. So I kept on saying no to this message, I and think I do. eventually it <laughs> yeah. stopped. Thank you, Sean Connery. So, yes. so yes. You're, you're telling me that give me give me a little bit of Sean. Actually, give me a little bit of Sean without you acknowledging something. Yeah, this this is yes. a, this is correct. This is this yes, is this is, is what, that's, and that's the problem. This that, is no, this is what. No, that's, no, what that's to be what fair, is, people right. here probably said no about a hundred times, and then it installed. Yeah. yeah, but so Okay, difference. hold on, hold on. This is why I said when I put my laptop down, I said I closed this I, I closed it 
that basically I'm trying to say is n no no key was accidentally hit yeah. or anything. But how can so, you say that? Okay, can because I it was closed. At the no, office, it, there's a timer. There's a timer within which you have to say no. It's, it's, it's but it's but otherwise it starts installing. I don't. But, see, but that's no, wrong. Because no, no, if I got to go to the, it does. That's if I have to walk away, no, that's, no, that's it, exactly how it works. It'll say Windows 10 will install at 3 a.m. tonight unless you click unless you postpone it or it'll be. The download will start in 20 minutes yeah. unless you postpone it. Right. In some no. cases, so it I think just what, started. I, I think you might be getting confused may, because yeah. you never yeah. had the option to not upgrade to Windows 10. No, you it didn't. It was, you will upgrade to Windows 10. But when Do I, it when it's convenient for you. No, but <laughs> when my window that popped up, yeah. it, well, it never, it so it never told me it never told you, me you a time limitation. Let, let's put this in terms that Breeze will... I know... Rise up again. I'll bring it on. What, what What if Rogers called you up? <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, you know, go. go. I, I'm and, listening. Bring it down. I'm listening. I'm listening. Bring it down, they, they, Jr. This off right you. We're gonna put it on. We're gonna. It's a free trial. We're gonna put it on, and you're gonna. And the more you say no, they're not listening. They decide we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put this on, and here's it's gonna be free for three months, and then at the end of three months, then now you have to actively. Send box it up. You have to send it back. You have to call us up, and you're gonna have to sit on the uh, 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 on, 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 the, on hold for three hours, trying to jump through hoops to cancel. And in the meantime, we're going to charge you a hundred dollars a month. Mm, uh, All right. That that that. <laughs> uh, let's then let's see how how happy it is. You know, the, the cable works great. But you didn't want it. You told the guy no, but they signed you up anyway. This is the same problem yeah. with Windows 10. Am I allowed did not want... to retort? Uh, I'm finishing my point here. It sounded you know. like you finished a while ago. Uh, Breeze, no. take a time you know. out. Go ahead, finish. Exactly. Finish, you. JR. They do not have permission to just push it onto your hardware. Regardless of what access they have with the operating system does itself. That's your hardware. You cannot. They cannot access your hardware. That is. That is. That is. That is. That's. That's. That's hacking. That's uh, three points for Jr. Thank you. <laughs> if that Thanks. was three, get ready to give me at least twenty. <laughs> oh, there was. Yeah, more like negative. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, this should be Jr. Good. Your <laughs> analogy is false on at least five different points. Other than yeah, really. other than money okay, being at involved, least, at least five. That's only one points. that so I could see. Money being the first one, because number one. Windows didn't charge you, or Microsoft didn't charge you anything for the upgrade. In fact, they service all of your software and give you updates constantly on your software for absolutely zero cost. Okay, number one. Number two, Rogers, they did something like that before, and it was called negative billing. And they got crapped on left, right, and center by the CRTC when people complained. Because it's a different story when Rogers says, we're going to give you three months of some channels that you don't even know about, and then if you don't want them, you call us. That's a completely different story because they're charging money for it. I didn't ask for that service, right? Why are you giving it to me? Number three, the content that's coming from Rogers is not owned by Rogers. They're just providing you different options on your pipe. Microsoft is changing their software. You are licensing their software. If you don't want to use Microsoft, you can go use something else to run your machine. And again, because you are more tech savvy than most people, you've set up a lot of machines using Linux, right? I have. Okay. Uh, Champ, the illustrious leader here, he's recording this podcast on a... Mac. Okay. So there's other options out there. If you don't want it, go use something else. But So we, don't we, come to me with we, your analogy. We made our decision. And, we selected me. Windows 7. Excuse me. Not every flavor okay, oh, of Windows Okay, I got something, I got something very simple Jim, here. You go Jim, do I, I get my, tw do I get my, do I get my okay, 20 points? Okay, time out, everyone. Do I get yes. my 20 points? You... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Give him one. Do I get my, uh, come Give on. One point. <laughs> I'll give you two points, but you own the hardware. Two points, son of a bitch. You, but we own, own the, the hardware. hardware. Actually, I got your something better, uh, champ. No, your champ, I got there. something better. You know, they don't have permission to overwrite they, it. Yeah, breeze, breeze. Overwrite what? Breeze, I got they're, it. I got it. Accessing the hardware. I got a question. They're taking control of Let's the give, computer without permission. I got a question. Let's I got give a the question. floor. Sorry. Let's no, give the floor no. to Big V. Big V, go ahead. In Big my v. basement, my desktop is running uh, Windows ninety eight. <laughs> oh. Why is it not Windows seven? I don't know. Why not? Exactly. 
Because I chose for it to not to be Windows 7. Did you get... Did you, Is it connected to the internet? Yes, it's connected to the internet. Did you get asked to update to Windows? No. I don't but think why? 90, I don't think 98 was part of the upgrade. But, not, but okay. that's not that's not part of the upgrade. Vista, no, 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 Vista could no, no, no. not upgrade Temo, to Windows 10 either. Temo. Temo. Go ahead, Big V. Windows 98 was a predecessor to a multitude of other of other operating systems. A multitude? <laughs> Multiple other operating systems yes. that came after it. Yes. Was I forced to take any of those other operating systems? Why is it now that it is convenient for Microsoft to say everybody who's got seven or eight, I'm going to throw 10 on you. But before, for I don't know how many decades. You'd have to pay for it. You'd have to pay for it. You'd have to, you'd have to yourself decide to get up off your ass to go to a store and acquire it, go home, install it because of your own okay. choosing. But now, because of modern technology and convenience, Microsoft has decided for you, we don't like the one you're operating, here's this. You Why is like, it now convenient, you but before like, for the last 10, 15 years, it was not? You sound like the gentleman who would adore his horse and complain about the car. <laughs> That's what you uh, sound no, that, like. That, the analogy is wrong. No, no that's, that's what big, you sound like. I don't even, because, I don't oh, even know v, how to say it. that because I don't even know what that means. Big V, at to all. Uh, prove our point, we'll go to Breeze's house and we will paint his house for free. Pink. Pink. Let's we paint it pink, pink with uh, yellow rainbow. polka dots. Yes. Oh. And he Beautiful. will not be able to complain because we didn't charge him for it. Exactly. And Let's we'll go see, do we'll that right now. Yes, we should do Am it. I currently leasing the paint on my house from you? Uh, apparently, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, because it does we can matter. Access, That's the whole point. We can access the house. because It doesn't matter about the paint. We, you're not, you're, we, you're, we you're see, not getting We it. seem to have permission to access the house because... Microsoft has permission to act as your That's hard drive whenever it feels like. That's the opposite of what I'm saying. Jam, yeah. I, I think we should just take a vote. JR gets analogy. three more points. I think, I think we should just... Yes, Champ. yes, he does, because he's right. Champ, I he's think right. we should just take a vote Listen, amongst the okay, five of us. There's always money involved. We need to test where there's no money involved. Everybody around this table This is no money. We will not charge him for the painting. You're all We're not charging him. Okay. You're all screwed. You know what? Because we live in a democratic society here. Chap, take a vote amongst the five, four of us. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, if you I think it was right that I Windows respond, 10, I would Actually, like to respond um, to okay, the Okay, you can respond issue. to the paint, but then we'll like still have we'll still issue. have a vote. Go ahead. Of, no, no, because whether you know, Windows 10 again, was just uh, paint, Microsoft was just. Again, your paint analogy is false because I don't lease my paint from you, so you have no right to come over and change that paint. So you guys can come up with all these crazy scenarios all you want, but you're not talking about the real issue. Okay. Which is you're leasing that software. They decided to not either not support it anymore or say, whoever has this software, you're upgrading to this software. And you have a choice to go pick something else. You can Thank talk you. about Thank you. Thank you. You just money. ended it for yourself. Hold on a second. Because 98, they said they would discontinue offering any more updates or uh, upgrades for it. Correct. And I chose to accept that, and I still run it okay. on my desktop. So has Microsoft taken away 98? No, they have not. That's why so I still run you it. You can all kiss they my stopped ass. They supporting it. They stopped supporting it. My um, ass is ready to And they to offered kiss. upgrades to my newer operating systems. It's, it's and I chose no. So hold on a second. I here. still run Fine. 98. Well, so I, why hold must on, I accept hold that thought, 10 JR. when I said no to it? So hold on a second. I have a question because yes. you're is saying it, that is we... It for, is it for me? Yeah, it is. Because yes. you're saying that we don't own, we are leasing... The operating system. You have a license to use that system. That's right. So when I okay, because so if and and the, and the reason why is because your system is tied to your machine. So if you wanted to get, say, you wanted to get a copy of, uh, so okay, so let's let's set up a thought. Uh, 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 th uh, okay, thought I build, I, you build okay? a computer. No, no, no. You go buy one, right? Okay. So uh, like Big V, he was talking about. Oh yeah, my sticker with the license. You said it rubbed off, right? Yes. So. If you wanted to go and download a copy of that copy of Windows mm -hmm. to reinstall on your own machine, that's fine. If you wanted to download a copy of that Windows and install it on another machine, okay. you can't do... Uh, let me finish. Where, I see where let you're going. Go ahead. Is it in let me finish. Let me finish. He's got to finish. He's got to finish. Let me finish. Gotta finish. Hold on. Let me finish. Hold on. So you can't do that anymore. And that's a change... 
to the licensing agreement because it used to be that if you owned a copy of Windows, if you had a copy of Windows 95 or whatever yeah, it was, yeah. 98, you could take that copy, that was your copy, and you could put it on any machine okay. that you wanted. So we're talking about different times, different licensing agreements, different relations between us and with Microsoft. Microsoft now gives away a ton of shit for free that they never Hold gave on, before. JR. So Go things ahead. are changing. Keep going. This is the way things are going. If you don't like it, that's fine. Pass You're that free to pick river. something else. That's all I'm saying. So hold on. That's all I'm saying. You've got a point, but there's two. The, this licensing is two. Where's two my different points? things. Where's my points? You'll get one point. Because I think, I think when I, I buy a computer from judge. Dell, <laughs> Lenovo, um, anyone else that's... Anyone else. Any pre... Like manufactured I choose what machine. operating system's on it. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you I bought mine, I bought mine off the, lease. I specifically look for laptops that had seven. They were offering eight. They were offering ten. They were offering whatever. Oh, okay, no, sorry. I wanted the one with so seven, the and here's I bought the, the one on. with seven. Yes. Uh, I didn't buy the one with ten. I know what... Okay. Okay. What's your point? I wanted to keep seven. See, the cost of a computer includes... The a license, license includes, for Windows. Includes the license, Okay, yes. so his license for Windows is seven. But my point is, let me get back to what I was trying to say. If I build a computer from scratch, I need to go out and buy a copy of, of Windows. If you True. build one from scratch, yes. Yes. Now, I can install it on any computer, and I'll be able to move it to any computer. Mm. If you have the, if you have the okay. physical media. Yeah. If I go out... And I off the shelf. I buy the box. He yeah. makes I have a very a good point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can install it on any. But that's a, that's a different yeah. situation, right? Because but hold on, you, because but you're paying a lot more just for the software. Yeah, but yeah, the, right? but Microsoft can still but, change it to ten. But Breeze, he's talking about the Leno the 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 the, 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 the mass pre installs yes, yes. Yeah. pre install uh, what's it called OEM. Yes. Yes. OEM. Yes. You, you could you could still move it as That's long as you wipe the originating computer, you could move it. And, and, and no. I, I wager no, it's almost no, no. 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 What? No. So that sticker that comes on your Lenovo machine or That's Dell. Right. That's yeah. right. That's to the it machine. It is locked to the motherboard. It's locked to the machine. And have I, have I've I've had experience. I know because I tried it because I tried it with my laptop and that's when I said forget it. I'm just going to install ten. Two points for Gino, but. I would like to, at this point to say screw you all. <laughs> no, you're not. No, no, you're not getting that. that. My yeah, ass is still I, ready like to be kissed. I like, I like to bring up what changed, how, what happened, what actually the actual. No, but Champ is still making the other point. He still has to finish his point. Hold on, but, no, you, do, you, but you do have it. But this is a very good point. Is is. Is Chat it, made a good point. Hold on. If you buy... Uh, excuse me. Chat made my point. <laughs> no. He made his <laughs> own you. point. He assisted on No, he did point. not assist you in and any that, way. And for that, I give Chat two points. <laughs> you were going to say that if you go out and physically <laughs> yeah. buy a copy for yes. a computer you made, yes. when Microsoft still has the... Uh, Microsoft can still change it to 10 on you. They uh, will. I think um, Tito was trying to make a point. And that is unjust because you bought it right yeah. out in center. But this is my question. So if you if you buy a machine and you and you de facto have a license to run Windows seven or eight, <clears> whatever it, it is, and then you're fo quote unquote forced to switch to Windows ten, although. I didn't have to switch to Windows 10. I don't have Windows 10. I'm mm -hmm. still. I don't know how you got out of that, yeah. but. Well, I, I can well, explain that. Um, I have okay, hold on. According, according to the Seattle Times. Hold on. Let, let, if, if, person a, finish. if person A buys that computer with yeah. that licensing agreement. Yeah. Which computer, though? Like an Acer, Lenovo, we're talking about. Yeah, sure. Some, okay. Some laptop. Something already with, made. With Windows Seven or Eight. Okay. Right? Something already. Yeah. Built. Like you don't actually have the discs. Okay. Of Windows. Yeah. Yep. From from Microsoft. Those are going the way of the dodo. Sure, but you can still buy them. Can, yeah. So person B buys the discs. Not only that, you can go online and you can download your own copy. Uh, you yeah, can download, you can still you, download the install. Okay, but the, yeah. but the price is different, right? No, it's free. Because you own it. Uh, assuming you already Not own it, but assuming you, assuming you already are. Yeah, assuming you own it. A legal copy. Like, so legal copy. the amount of money that Microsoft gets when you buy a Dell laptop mm -hmm. I, I with Windows 7 Microsoft on it. Seven. They get hundreds of dollars. They, they, well, the, the, the cost of the laptop is hundreds of dollars, so they can't get the total cost, right? What, you, what laptop are you buying for 200 bucks? You can buy a laptop for $300. 
Actually, store. I just saw I, a laptop today for yeah, $2.99. Yeah, but are those, second, are those second-hand? Are those from, like, no. resellers and things no, like that? No, Best, just buy, just Best, Best, Best Buy quite buy. often sells laptops I, I for just under saw, 500 bucks. I just saw one today, uh, $2.99.97 at Best I've Buy. I've never paid just, more Microsoft, than Microsoft, 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 Microsoft a takes a cut just so, to prevent so another so operation. They take a cut. Yeah, they offer a cut rate. Otherwise... Otherwise, they're going to secede right. the whole yeah. market. So, so Microsoft to, uh, is getting those what, are not 50 Apple. bucks, let's say, right? Let's uh, just throw out a number. But then yeah. if you go buy Windows outright, yeah. how much yeah. does it cost? I don't even know how much it costs It anymore. could be $300. Yeah. Yeah. Someone right. can correct it's, um, it's, it's, uh, It used to be hundreds of dollars yes. it used to back be. in Until, the day when that was the only choice uh, you had. Mm-hmm. Right? Basically, Windows is not the money maker for Microsoft. No. Windows is simply Office a is gateway the for off, uh, exactly, a gateway to Office. That's why... For the three hundred dollar computer, Microsoft probably gives the, the operating system away. The reason because why because they know it's someone keeps otherwise using, they're going they're going to install something else and they it's don't Office. Work. The reason why everyone keeps using Microsoft is because how many businesses out there office. are run on Microsoft right. Excel? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're, 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 they're they run on it. They're, they're screwed. Right. Micro- use it. It's okay, a, there's a well known. It's a well known story. Wait, wait. Hold sorry, on. So sorry. You got sorry. person A who bought the laptop with the license. That win the, for Windows. The OEM and the person license. B who spent hundreds of dollars to buy Windows and is going to install it on on their desktop and on their laptop and their wife's Whatever. laptop. And well, they're going to install it on one so machine. So you're telling me, and both both those people have have come up against the same problem yes. that they have to con- consistently click no to the yes. Windows that's correct. 10. Yeah. That's correct. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Well, then that's a problem here. Not really, because if anything does happen to the someone who has discs they have the choice to just go back and reinstall the problem is, is that it keeps a, coming back but if you yeah. have a if you have a key it's, it, the problem you is don't being have the option to go back to go back that's that's mm. what that's yeah. what cheeses a lot of people off you and don't yeah leave, i have that problem that's my back. problem because yeah. it wiped it wipes so, it all does it even wipe the partition on the laptop that comes with all the original factory because if you, really just you know what store, i have no clue shouldn't. but i don't have the key anymore because every time i pick it up from underneath my thumbs have, or my fingers have been slowly over time wiping away or rubbing off a couple of the characters. What kind of okay, acidic so you grease can use, do you have You can on use a fingers. software called Magic Jelly Sloppy Bean. Joes. Magic Jelly Bean Sloppy will get Joes. your license key. What's that? Jelly, what, who's that? So Champ, ever, I, Champ, I will come to you when I require ever, this. I don't know how... I don't know how to take that. There's, uh, there's if you ever programs. forget, if you ever lose lose your light, your key, <laughs> uh, your Windows key, Magic Jelly Bean will will get it for and you. And there are some other programs. I don't know how legal they are or what yeah. their story is, but they will do something called slip streaming, where they'll make you ISOs of whatever operating system is already on your machine. Microsoft I, will do that for you. Will they? Yeah, if you go to Microsoft, you can download an ISO image of the Windows. Microsoft, yes. No, I'm talking about like before. When that wasn't an option, there was software. Oh, like okay. Ghost or something like something, that. Something, I don't know. But it was something. Well, go- yeah, ghost people image. Would make their well, own that would ghost your whole machine software yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. So. Everything, so. You might as well. Not just the operating system. I, so, so, I, so then that's so, your response to to the problem of the person who buys the software outright is that they have the ability to reinstall it. But why should they if, if they didn't want it in the no, first no, I'm, place? I'm not saying Cito, it's not an I inconvenience. Appreciate, I appreciate but. the help, but I've already won this debate. No, no, but so I, I don't need more. So let me tell Jam, you. Just, so just, let me t- so just add up the points. Me, I gotta tell you a story. For those of you Forget at home, the points. go back and listen just vote. and add so, up the, add up, add oh up the points and you'll see that myself, with an assist from Champ, do come out ahead. Are you assistant? When did you and assist I'm, him? The is he, is he a crack? Has he been smoking at the office? I'm not even counting points from Tito. So th- that okay. is my concession. Okay, Breeze, okay, I think you've been you on this conversation totally on your own because I don't think you know where you are right now. Truth is not a democracy. But you know what he's saying. Uh, big not, v, big he's v. saying you don't own the Windows anyways. Yes. yes. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is... What I'm and trying to say is I feel what, like What I Champ do. is trying to say... That's what Big V is trying to say. Is, big V is saying I feel like I do and my if feelings If we didn't want in the first place, paramount. why are we being inconvenienced and problem, a problem with it? But you to, don't own it. Yes, but you own the hard drive it's installed on. But you own the you're hardware. Not allowed, they're, they're not allowed That's to access the hardware. In order for, you not in order for Microsoft to install it, they, could, they actually they have to fact, change that, everything Microsoft that's on your, your, that. your computer. Okay, but- but let's say let's say window let's say Microsoft found out there was some some inherent flaw in Windows eight. Then well, tell well, us. Hold on a second, right? That's, that's why an you update. And update. They, so that would be a security so. update. Okay, well, but let's say they decided you know that it was it was such a they huge are, yeah. problem uh, they needed to push out Windows ten to fix it. 
Yep. Like, what if you're ready? Did they say that? What if? Did they say that? It should be your they don't choice. Have to tell Hold you. on a second. Oh, yeah, they do actually. Why do they have to tell you? Listen. Uh, that's why they send you updates for militia. Uh, yeah, malicious at the very swear, least, malicious software uh, updates. And if you security want security updates, because there's been a problem with this. But you don't have to update. You should not be able yeah. to have to. Update. I'm a big. You don't uh, have to. You can turn off security updates. We're big yeah, boys. Yeah. We can. We can They'll decide. Let you know that there's a security update. Listen, I agree with you. It was annoying. Let me tell you what we did but at the if office. if the legalities of it are that you don't even own it to begin with, the software. But Chad made, a, made a good point. You if you go and hardware. you buy it but it's straight your out. It's your property. Your that heart, the, at the very least, you own the computer. In in, in January of, of that's 2016. A, that's a difficult pill to swallow. Like the, the guy that goes out and pays hundreds of dollars for Windows 8. Yeah. Or 7 or whatever. Who that guy is, I don't know. <laughs> But <gasps> no, say, but no, no. Straight up, there's people that build their la- their their desktops from scratch, yeah. and they have to go out and they gotta get a copy. All right. So here's 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 something else that I think. I think you inadvertently hit a button. How can I hit a button? I don't know. Kaboom. I don't know. Kaboom. I didn't hit no, nothing. No, no, no. This is not correct. Keep your voices down, good, folks. But, but Keep your voices no, down. But I, I, I okay. But hold on, Casey. I was in Excel. Okay, but I I I put I I, I closed my laptop. I, for a piss. I closed my laptop yeah, down, I, so I could not story. hit any key. I don't yeah, have but any key, but you're not and I put it down on the floor. But you're you not hitting a key to install. You're hitting a key to authorize new installation. So you may have just let the timer. No, run. so you know the window came up when I wasn't there. I'll tell you what this what? is. This is lost, and you got to hit the key. Before don't the even island talk, blows don't up, don't talk about loss. Okay, that's what I don't want to hear anything about J.J. Abrams. I don't want to hear nothing because then okay. we're gonna have a much different Can we just podcast. take a vote? J- okay, can J- we just J- please take a vote Wait, and move oh, on to the I next gotta, topic? Okay, J.J. Abrams, we'll save for another time. Yes. I gotta tell you what we did at the office. So the admin, the admin got her computer updated to ten, screwed up the accounting software. Oh, sh- yeah. Okay, Ooh. I had to bring it back to seven, and then. Then. And then I had to run a batch file to stop the update. Yes. Ran the batch file. She never got have bothered to do with that. It. Exactly. You shouldn't have to do that. It but I had to run a batch file to silence Windows 10 permanently. And I'm not. I'm not a computer expert. I can't do that. Like no, you could just search it. It's some batch file. It doesn't matter. Gave me. But they, they, it, that's way above it, my my pay grade. In, like, ja- in January, my, uh, go ahead. In January, January Microsoft was actually sued. In Seattle. Nice. Because uh, the, the, the computer, a, a, a user who shortly after the release of the OS had attempted to upgrade, it had attempted to upgrade without consent, it failed the upgrade, left the computer in a completely unusable state. <laughs> Sued Microsoft, won, won a claim of $10,000. because Because wow. they, they, they could, they, they, she couldn't run her, uh, her travel, travel agency uh, because the computer wasn't working. It had all the accounts on it. She won ten thousand uh, dollars. Microsoft then appealed and then decided to drop the appeal and in, instead uh, changed the upgrade software to allow an opt out. Oh, yeah. obviously now, it, that it, was it, after it my update. Up up it now has a remind me later, <laughs> do not notify me again, and notify me three more times options. I don't even get asked anymore. It was not. Uh, it was not for because a while. It, that's why they got sued because there was, was a deadline. No, there was no option to, to not, after April to, not, uh, to opt out. I think the deadline was for April, right? I April was, was a deadline. Ju- I thought it was end of July. Okay. Of I July. know there was a deadline where it's like, oh, hurry up, hurry up because it's free. But you're gonna get your free so Windows right. 10. <laughs> but um, don't you feel there's something inherently wrong about the guy who spends the hundreds of dollars to buy the software outright? That he be, wants. Being, I don't want to say forced, because it was forced. It but was it's forced. but it's not really. It is. Forced. You can't even ask me a legitimate question <laughs> about that. I know. I'm just ask me, Dan. What's wrong with you? My answer is no. You know what? I'm gonna ask it. You know what? If I bought, if I went out and I bought a physical oh, copy of seven, voices, and they voices. changed it into ten, breaking the levels here. Is that wrong? Yes. Straight out, answer me right now. Is that wrong? I went out and bought Windows seven, seven for my computer because that's what I like to use. I love seven. <laughs> yes. And then all of a sudden, some Big Brother comes along and says, "F you, brother. F you. Here's ten. Like it or not. Right, right. Is that right or is that wrong?" 
I have no idea what the license agreement is when you buy a piece of software. Oh my All I know God. is that you don't own it. Oh my God. Is it right okay. or is it wrong? Is it justifiable Owner, or not? Ownership. Is it annoying? Is it not? We have to define. Is there a principle there? Annoying, yes. Is there even a principle? Uh, I went out and bought we, seven, and then all of a sudden, Big Brother says, "Here's ten. <laughs> Too bad." Is there even a principle there? What's the principle? That I didn't want it to begin with. I didn't buy it. I said no uh, to, on my laptop multiple times. They stole it anyways. Okay. So you have your seven, The principle right? is, was that right or was that wrong? Like I said, I don't know what the license is that you bought. Uh, can, that, you, can we make this democratic and okay. just take a vote? Ju just because it's legal doesn't make it right. And can so we, can so we please... I'm not yeah. arguing that point. So, so you're I'm, not, I'm not arguing that Anthony. point. No, no. Well, Anthony, he won't, he won't, he he won't answer to my it. question. He won't. So far, you're, right, you're absolutely <laughs> correct, Anthony. Listeners, yeah. go back, listen to the points, and you'll see that I have won this debate. <laughs> Um, but uh, Big V, Big V does have a point. When I go to the store and I bought a window, a copy of Windows 7 disc license. Yes. Okay. Now ownership, it's got to be defined. For it's those gotta, of you who cannot see, Champ is holding a napkin and he is. It's the napkin it represents representing the CD. Exactly. That the software came the package. Yes. The, the package, package yes. with installation instructions. Yes. Um, Ownership has to be defined as I own the software and I can rewrite it or I own the software and I can install it on any piece of hardware I want. Did you say you own the software and you can rewrite it? That's what I'm just saying. That could be a that could be an agreement. But it's not. But it's not. I doubt it. Mm. Yes. I'm just saying the definition of ownership of a, a licensed copy of Windows. So what you're saying is the definition of ownership is somewhat malleable and we don't know what it entails. We have to read the forty-seven pages. So <laughs> I didn't read it, but I know there's but I know there's forty-seven pages there. And you know what? That forty-seven pages is not to protect you. It's like a car lease. No, it protects the person who's selling you the car. Exactly, exactly. So because if the if computer goes, Big V wants breaks. to yell at me about buying a copy of Windows Seven and saying, "Is it right?" I don't know. I didn't read the license agreement, but I no. know the license he agreement. That's not what I asked. Like, <laughs> what the hell, man? We, watch, we gotta watch our levels, guys. He didn't mm -hmm. ask you if it was legal. Mm -hmm. He said it's not right. He's not, it's and not I right. don't know. He's not That's what I'm saying. saying. Right I don't wrong. know. He's saying he, he, the fine print defines what's right and wrong. No, no, the I don't the know. The fine print defines what's legal. Seven. Yeah. Of course. Is it, it, is it yeah. right for yeah. to be What's legal is not what's always right. Something else that it did exactly. not buy. Exactly. No, JR, hey, if it's legal, he can do it. But if it's somewhere in the fine print. If you find a way. I doubt it. At some point, Windows might decide to upgrade you to Windows I agree with you. I highly doubt that you'll see that maybe in there as well. Because you don't have to even take the security updates. That's true. You can you, turn you, off all updates. And you update you out you out you opt out of the upgrades once. Yep. And yep. it will not ask you again. I do not understand why there was no option to up the, out opt out of the Windows 10 update. Do you really want to update out I of think, do you really want to opt out of security updates, though? Uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, you don't you, you don't want to mess with it because the, 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 the Microsoft has been known to have security updates that make that break stuff. It, it's very very common. And you and don't and you don't want it to take down your illegal pirate server, right? <laughs> I, I mean, don't that's have illegal pirate server. <laughs> I don't. I don't. And they, I don't know anyone who does. Thank you very much, oh, gentlemen. <laughs> we're gonna close off this discussion. I think it was a fantastic discussion. We all put our inputs. We all put our stories in. Um, everyone, please go back and listen and tally up the points. <laughs> Tell. Uh, I, got, I say we just I, take I, a democratic vote right, right now. Right. Truth I mean, is, truth is not a democracy. We're, I'm gonna give. Hold on a second. I'm gonna give everyone. A few sec, uh, a few seconds to say their final points. Big V, final points. I have no final points other than the fact that being uh, having uh, Windows Ten imposed upon you is a big nay. Tito, I think all those people that ended up with Windows Ten inadvertently hit keys and accepted, acknowledged something. Oh, oh. because I I'm still gonna lay a smack down on you I'm so hard. Someone I'm just I'm telling you. Because because out. I still have Windows and 8 made, on um, my laptop. It's still out. running. So what was that? I still have that Windows was, 8 on my laptop. I was not forced to take Windows 10. I was asked many times, but I was not Maybe, forced maybe it got disconnected from the internet. And now the window's done, I, so you don't have to even worry. You don't, you, you, you no, don't get asked anymore. It stopped bothering me. Oh, my goodness. Breeze. 
Now I'm enjoying the wonder that is Windows 8. <laughs> Windows 8. You won. You cut off your nose to spite your face. Um, I, I, I don't have any last points on this. I can see. I, I understand completely the annoyance that Big V is talking about. I understand somewhat what JR is talking about, where it's your hard drive. And yeah, if some people lost data, I can concede that that would be very bad. And, you know, they probably deserve to be sued at that point. You heard it right here. He conceded. <laughs> yes, I, he conceded, I conceded. I conceded a JR point. Has, JR is victorious. Yes, because as I said, truth is not a democracy. So there's right and there's wrong. But I just don't understand because there is a huge license agreement when it comes to that. I don't know what's in it. Has anyone ever read their iTunes license agreement, their EULA or whatever it's called, yep. and end user license? It's hundreds of pages. Like, I think even South Park did a, did a spoof on that. There's what? red jelly beans at the end. Or something, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, there's so much stuff going on Is when it? it comes to that. <laughs> Stuff with hardware, software, I, I you know, I mean, it, it's, uh, I, I'm not in any position to say. All I know is I'm sure they are protected, and whatever they did, I'm sure they did, and it's in that license agreement somewhere. JR. So that'll be my last point. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to... And I expect advise, you to acknowledge, acknowledge my concession, please. If you absolutely do not use any software that uses Microsoft, if you're only using it for Internet usage, if your parents are only using Internet usage, don't use Microsoft. Oh, yes. There's lots of free options Just out there. Download a free copy of Ubuntu. Yeah. Install that. And this problem will never happen again. Right on. Right on. Thank you, everyone. Mm. The, what about you? I uh, My stance is that um, we should have the choice to um, accept. Uh, we should just have the choice. Period. The Lake Wilcox has has made my face numb, so um, that's where I'm standing right now. But we Dave should all Ray, have a choice. It's not your fault. It's just so. <laughs> we should all have a choice to upgrade um, to the next operating system or not, uh, despite if it's out of date or whatever. I go out to the store. I spent. I put down money for Windows Seven. I should stick with Windows Seven. Um, so, so I don't know. That's it. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. I want to thank my guests, Big V, Tito, Breeze, JR. Thank you for joining me at the round table, and we'll see you next time. And I've got a crab in my beer. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You've been listening to the Crew Roundtable Podcast. Thank you for listening. For more information on our show, please visit us at www.crewroundtable.com. You can also reach us over Twitter at Crew Roundtable. Hashtag Ask the Crew for show ideas, topics, or questions. Mm-hmm.